welcome. So for the first video, um, I decided to take a look at this Clover Dome Threaded Needle Case. Um, this is an item, I guess it's been around for quite a, quite a while, I don't know exactly how many years, but it's supposed to, <coughs> excuse me, when you're hand threading, um, maybe even embroidery, um, it's supposed to help you keep your, your threaded needles, um, straight so that they don't get all messed up and stringy. Okay, so... We'll open this up. Okay. Okay. And okay. All right. A needle with a length of two inches or longer cannot be wait. A needle with a length of, oh, the needle itself. If the needle itself is um, over two inches, it cannot, it would not work with this. Um, the length of the thread on the stored needle should not exceed 32 inches. Uh, never store a thread with a tied knot. Uh, coarse abrasive threads and easily cut threads do not pull out properly. Um, okay. So that's just a few cautions listed here. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, let's see, I'll just take a look at that so I can see how this works. All right, so let's see, it looks like this clear piece here comes off somehow. There we go. So that pops off of there. And looks like your threaded needle looks like you line it up with one of these grooves right in here. And then you line that up with this. Ah. So there's a little groove here and here, and you line it up with one of these. That's the top piece, All right? And I'm assuming you push that in so that it is not in the way. And then the thread itself, you push down in this groove and then put it down, and I believe, let's see, is it, looks like clockwise, I believe it's clockwise here, okay, and you just turn that until the thread is all the way in. Looks like a little piece stuck out here. So, let's see. I just want to make sure that I turned it the right way. Hold thread slot, rotate to wind the thread. Uh, actually, yeah, it has to be clockwise because it doesn't it doesn't go any other direction. So, nice. Okay, and then to take that out, you just Wow, you just pull it right out. So this is great because I used to do a lot of uh, cross stitch. And I had an item and I still have it. <laughs> In fact, there was a project that I had started um, and I never finished it because I had so many needles. There were so many colors um, on that project. And I'm hoping someday I'll finish it. So once I come across that project, um, I'll show you where it's at. It was very early on. But it was one of those where I sent in a picture of my husband and my son when he was a baby. 
um, and I was cross stitching that on there so something like this would be wonderful so I can keep track of the threads and I don't have to worry about them getting all mixed up so that's wonderful <clears throat> and put this over there and then everything's in here and you know where it is <laughs> this is another problem I have with items is sometimes I have a tendency to lose things huh <sighs> so all right so that is the clover dome threaded needle case and I even looked up some pricing it looks like um, you could get it anywhere from nine to twelve dollars um, and places like Amazon has it um, in Missouri Star of course eBay actually has one for nine dollars um, so yeah so at about I would say between nine and twelve dollars so pretty inexpensive but it saves you the headache of those uh, tangled up threads so this is definitely something that I will be using in the future um, so that's it for that video um, I will see you next time bye